What if I told you that you could generate 50% more Bitcoin by increasing the performance on your Unminer S19K Pro by installing LuxOS firmware? I will guide you through how we did it and show you how to do it. So let's come closer. So this is the Unminer uh, S19K Pro, 115 terahash as you can see. Don't mind that little guy beside us. Um, it's just generating some heat and some Gaspa coins. That's the Ice River KS Pro Zero, uh, 200 gigahash miner, but we're gonna focus on this miner today. Um, so this is Bitmain Unminer, standard miner, comes with the power supply on the side, control board on the, on the top, which controls the miner. There's the, your internet port where you connect the network connection, some fans on the front uh, and on the back of the miner, which helps to uh, cool down the miner and of course some hashing boards inside the box. These devices come with some different type of, uh, um, different type of control boards. Um, to open this, it's quite simple. You just need to open the screws here in the front, two in the front and uh, uh, two at the back, and then press this button and take the, the cover off. So this particular minor model comes with the Amlogic control board and uh, there's three type of uh, control boards. I think it's called Amlogic, Xilinx and Beagle Bees or what's the other name was it? Um, so this particular bo board, this advantage is that it doesn't have micro USB slot, uh, which is the easiest way to install the firmware on these devices because you just uh, flash the firmware on the micro SD card, then insert the card into the miner and when you boot up, the firmware is there. Um, it's a little bit trickier for ARM logic boards, so there's a couple options. Like if you have an ARM logic control board, and if you want to install in micro with a micro SD card, you will need to replace the control board on the miner. It's quite simple to do. You just unscrew and replug all the cables. As you can see, um, this control board has micro SD card slot on the front of the miner, where you can install um, your firmware. On Amlogic boards, it's a little bit uh, trickier because you need to do it remotely. Uh, LuxOS has this commander tool um, to install the uh, firmware on the miner. And uh, we have done this that way. We have used their commander tool, but the only thing is you need uh, access key for it. Uh, and uh, Lux, LuxOS provided us that, that access key for this miner. After a few days testing with this device with Lux OS firmware, uh, we have got in some results. We tested few settings, few different settings, and I'll just say you some data what we got from them. Um, so the first one was the overclock settings, uh, frequency 645 and voltage 13.9 uh, volts. And the performance we got from this, this is, uh, by the way, is the default overclock. And the performance we got is 134 terahash at 3,200 watts, uh, which is efficiency 23.88 joules per terahash. So another one was a little bit more, increased the performance up to um, 149, 150 mega hash at 3,800 watts. And overclock settings for this, we used frequency 720 megahertz and voltage 14.2 volts, which uh, gave us efficiency 25.5 joules per terahash. And then we also tested the maximum performance, which is uh, 164 terahash for 150 terahash uh, K Pro Miner and 170 uh, mega, sorry, terahash for the uh, S19K Pro 120 uh, terahash version. Um, so the overclocks we use frequency 795 and the voltage 14.5 uh, volts and the performance we got on this particular machine is 164 terahash at 4400 watts which is a lot um, i know th even this power supply is rated 4000 watts um, the ev efficiency was 26.82 joules per terahash which i think I still think um, it is, uh, it's quite good uh, for such a kind of performance for this miner. This miner with this firmware runs 
about the same efficiency as the Unminer S90 XP version. I think it's a great benefit, you know, because this miner is a lot cheaper also per terahash than the XP version. Another thing I want to point out that um, if you're running on a max performance, uh, you need to, you know, might in the long term update the power supply depending on your ambient temperature. Um, so like in our warehouse, it's very cold, about 10 degrees Celsius. So there's no issues. We run this for a few hours. There's no issues with the power supply. There's no issues with the overheating for the chips. It's the, the temperature stays on the chips around 50, 50 Celsius. So this is just, you know, the few things you need to look at when you overclock the device uh, to maximum performance. Um, otherwise, you know, you might need to change the power supply to more efficient, um, to more powerful, which could handle that kind of load. Um, otherwise, I believe you know it's necessary to install such kind of firmware you have if you have a uh, you know this kind of device because um, you basically in mining you are competing with all other miners and you want to make your ROI as fast as possible. So this is one of the ways how you can make your ROI on the miner as uh, fast as possible. I believe that every miner here is here to make money uh, mining Bitcoin. So. Um, install the firmware and uh, there you go. Um, I hope this video helped for you. Um, crafting the future, one block at a time.